So it's Tutorial Tuesday, and I'm with owner, Laura, who owns Clink. I'm going to do Clink. Clink, Wine Bar, and Bites. I you got, got it right. It. There you we go. It. And uh, I, met, uh, I met you, I don't know, it's been a month or so ago, and we had a chance to come and bring our team to this place. It's located on Lakeside. You might tell them this actual address. Yeah, we're at 2601 Lakeside Parkway, Suite 100 right across the street from the Results Center and the Tavern. Okay, yeah, so come to this place for the results in wine. Let me just say, <laughs> Tony will love that. Uh, but I wanted a chance to just do a tutorial to say, I'm terrible about wine. I don't know, I know what tastes good, but I don't know what matches what. So what I really appreciated when I got here is you guys have like wine on tap. I, I'm, yeah. I Maybe I'm just, not been around a long time or something I don't I have been around a long time but uh, I just didn't know there was places that have wine on tap so I share with us the concept um, what you were what you know how this came about your innovation for <laughs> you know woman-owned business hey and uh, the innovation of wine on tap and the various wines that you have yeah well thank you so we're the baby on the block we're 10 months in um, so clink we offer 16 wines on tap, four beers on tap. 16 wines on tap, okay. And then about 40 other wines by the glass and bottle. Um, full kitchen, our menu's tapas in style, so everything comes out as it's ready. So food is definitely a huge part of our program, not an afterthought here. But back to tap wine, the real reason we did tap wine was a couple things. So um, wines on tap allow us to serve a great product for a better price because we've cut down on glass and packaging with shipping helps that's us really smart yeah. yeah that had to help a lot actually yeah. especially how'd you predict that with the market the way it's going and getting deliveries and stuff well we didn't know at the time <laughs> what we know now Tell everyone you knew ahead of but, time look but, how wise she is she's a forethinker okay but it's helped us a lot and then um, when you cut down on glass and packaging, you can serve a better glass of wine for a better price. Everybody likes that, right? A bigger, a bigger pour. A bigger pour or just a better glass of wine. Okay. So normally where it might have cost you $12 to have that glass of wine from a bottle, I can do it for 10 so Okay. Something like that. And then kind of last thing that really sold me is that it allows us to serve a glass of wine that's always as fresh and good as possible. So if you think about opening a bottle of wine, you drink half of it, it cork haphazardly goes back into the bottle, you sit it on your counter. <laughs> Maybe at your house yeah. this happens, I don't know. Anyway, you, re yeah. you, re you remember yeah. two or three days later, you go to drink it and that wine is gone. It's no longer good, it doesn't taste nearly as great as that first glass that you had out of it. We've cut down on that because the wine tap system is a closed system. So the wines are pumped out on demand. So no oxygen gets in the system. With that closed system, we ensure that the last glass is as fresh and great as that first glass. So our kegs can be good up to two months. We fly through keg wine, so we don't really have them sitting here for two fly months. Fly through keg wines. But, fly through them. Did but you click on that? <laughs> it allows us to really serve a great product that I stand behind for our customers. That's awesome. Um, I enjoyed the food too, and uh, I, I, I like the tapa style because it allows you to try lots of different things. So you just, you could have a date night with just all kinds of appetizers. And uh, I, I also want to uh, ask you, it's kind of a family affair here, so to speak. Your husband's been very supportive. You had this idea, you, you, you talked to him about it. Tell, him, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so I worked in corporate America and I sold wine for a living. Um, and I've talked about for a decade that I wanted to have a wine bar. And I think uh, friends and family, my husband included, got tired of hearing me say it. And they said, go do it already. So here we are. It was Don't you love it when people push you into the deep end of the water? Yes. Yeah. So it's been a journey. Um, we found this space in April of 2019, or in the fall of 2019. And then we're going to break ground in March of 2020. We know what happens in the world then. So we broke. It's always good to start a business in a pandemic. I Woo! know, yeah. right? Not for the faint of heart. And then we broke ground before Christmas, and everyone remembers February of 2021. We had Snowmageddon happen. Oh, yes, yes. So that slowed things down. So we officially opened May 19th of 2021. So we're coming up on a year. And during this whole process. What are you going to do for your year anniversary? Anything We're fun? celebrating all weekend. So okay. So we're going to, May 19th through the 22nd, we have live music Thursday, Friday, Saturday night. I'll have different vendors on site sampling wines and food. 
We have a guy coming on Saturday to engrave wine bottles. So if you buy a bottle Yay. here, you can get it engraved. Happy birthday, anniversary, graduation. Is that graduation. right before Mother's Day or around that time? It May? should be right around. I don't know exactly okay. when Mother's okay. Day is. Okay, but, good gifts. Um, we're excited to celebrate. Our community has embraced us and it just keeps getting better. So we're doing a big party to celebrate with everybody. Well, this is the hostess with the mostest. Her staff, they were wonderful. And like I said, when we came, when we brought our team, they brought us like a wine flight, I think is what it's called. Yeah, you did a flight. Oh, yeah. I did a flight. Yeah, I did a flight. Uh, and I, that helped because again, I'm just not that smart when it comes to wines. I don't know what goes with what. I'm definitely going to drink whatever and if it doesn't go with fish or meat or whatever I, to me I just I just if I like it I, that's what I do so um, her venue here is amazing it's beautiful I love the color of blue chairs a shout out to her husband he painted the chairs it's a beautiful blue kind of <laughs> like an ocean blue I feel like when you walk in here it's like you know, um, it'll stand the test of time because it just feels so welcoming also a shout out she has an extra room if you want to do an event a birthday um, any kind of celebration a business event hint hint we're probably going to do an, a business event here um, and it's a private room holds about 30 comfortably uh, has it has a tv for for a powerpoint if you want to do something like that so like we 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 love to support our local uh, community places Thank but you. this lady was just really really awesome so there was no question we were going to do a tutorial Tuesday about wine and wine taps and uh, we hope to do it again and thanks for welcoming us today mm -hmm. I know it's in the morning and we don't yeah. have any in here we don't have any but we can pretend but we can pretend <laughs> so thank you and thank uh, you. tutorial Tuesday clink wine bar and bites you got it I got you it, nailed it. <laughs>